EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, an important divisional round matchup in the NFC between the Carolina Panthers and the San Francisco 49ers. One of two spots in the NFC title game awaits the winner here as we're underway in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And not the start he was hoping for there as he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. Brings up second and 10 at the 18-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there. And that'll make it third down. A deep ball down that right sideline. And he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Dancing to his left. Oh, he'll look. He's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big third down play there for the Niners. 43 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. First down, Wagner. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. On second down, it's Wagner. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. He's brought down at the 31. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and two. before he's taken down at the 27. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. scrimmage and taken down no gain on the play there second down no gain. well done to sniff that out defensively he had it diagnosed pretty quickly i love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one read his keys made the play and he couldn't even get going moving the football 
On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers' 17. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Brings up third and one. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Stays on his feet. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the 49ers drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. Makes the score Niners 7, Panthers nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Sanders first carry of the game and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair they'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11 second and 11 at the 24 yard line after the loss to start out here's second and 11 From the gun, here's Watson. Man open left side is Brown. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Just three catches in the wild card victory for him a week ago. And now he's got his first here, and it's good for a first down. Here's Watson. He'll buy some time right. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the... And this is caught! And finally out of bounds, all the way down at about the two. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as... And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy. The apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line.
The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of a defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. 24 yard line. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. These two teams all tied after one. The Niners on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. First down, San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They'll run on first down. It's Wagner. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Second down now. It's Wagner. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. The tackle by Brian Burns. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up third. The Niners on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. Open man is IU complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. He's brought down. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Now the second down throw on target. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Let's see what you got. Third down, Wagner. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play, and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Right back to him on first down. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 21-yard line. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. here, second and 11. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Looking for Ayuk, and he's got it. 
And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. He had three catches last week. That one his third on this drive alone. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A five-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield, and how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tunnel. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Out of the gun, Watson able to connect with Mims. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. A gain of four. And this is third down. Watson on third down. Got a man. It's Mims. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. Is there? able to get the third down conversion 11 on the play first down Panthers they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning let's see if they do it anyway And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. He was tackled. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Three brings up second and seven. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a first down on a gain of 10. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. First down, Watson. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson looking left side. That's caught by Moore. 
And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 19. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. This throw caught right around the 6. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now Jones. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll try again with Jones. And he's going to ball his right in for a Panther score. Ronald Jones as the first half is winding down. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. And ties the game at 14. Joey Sly to kick off for Carolina. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Escaping the pressure right. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. 49-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And with one second left, they get the timeout. And they'll have a chance to kick the field goal before intermission. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they locked in really well. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Throwing on second down. Watson, he's going to look deep for more. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. And that will be incomplete. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Here's the Panthers punter now, and surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. 
Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. Over first and 10 at their own 45-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they look to add to that lead. How about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. First and 10. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, 42 yards. And the 49ers had six to their lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. The point after is good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Fields this way up at the 17. And it's a pretty good return here, so he'll get this up to the 29. At their own 29-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Brings up second and three. To throw again on second down. Watson, he's got this one completed to Mims. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Carolina. A shotgun snap for Watson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. That's caught right side by Mims. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And this is... Again, it's Watson. And he's got his target. That's more. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. To the air yet again, Watson. Flush to his right. Looking sideline, incomplete. The intended receiver there, Ian Thomas. And that'll bring up second down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. 
ordinarily you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. The throw over the middle, taken in, and brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Partner, it's been my experience that after two stops like that near the goal line, defense has only become bolder. They don't back off at all. I think they continue to bring pressure and force them to make a really big play against them. And the incompletion, then the run for no gain. Let's see now. This is out quickly to the right. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out. But they'll do so fatigued. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, it's Coleman. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Kevin Coleman, 72 yards. Where the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness, too, of just getting there and taking off and going for the defensive guys? Plays like that really hurt. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Panther From the gun, here's Watson. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 11 yards and a Panther first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. And well, so far, a little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to them, and it's paying off. 
Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal gain. They only got a yard out of that last completion and that makes this second and nine. Watson looks to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he's taken down inside the 30. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second What's half, that? no quit in him. Zero. Now a first down throw, Watson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Out of the gun, Watson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Intended for Ian Thomas. Incomplete. It's now fourth down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They will indeed snap it to Watson. Able to connect with Mims. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Panthers 21. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now a first down carry by Jones. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. It's a big play in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game, loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run it in with Jones. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Ronald Jones, his second touchdown of the night. And the Panthers are able to get this back within a touchdown. Sly on for the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. Makes the score Niners 31, Panthers 28. Joey Sly to kick off for Carolina. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. A fairly short kick for the 14. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. At their own 28-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead and the football, the clock right now, their friend, as they try to book their spot in the conference championship next Sunday. At the 24-yard line. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now left side on the swing pass. 
They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. To Tevin Coleman. That's a gain of seven. Makes it third and seven. shotgun he'll look to throw and he lost the football and it's picked up by the Panthers look at this middle of the field a breakaway and he takes it into the end zone it's a fumble recovery and a touchdown for the Panthers and a big turning point here in the second half Charles after that play all you're trying to do is change momentum, flip things around for your team. You're just trying to take the ball away. How about when you take it away and score? That really changes things. And he'll bang that one through. Makes the score Panthers 35, 49ers 31. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Pulls it in at the 13. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round, and they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four yard run on first down. Number three. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. The Niners on third down. They've been outstanding. Seven first downs and eight tries. This is third and eight. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. On the counter, here's Coleman. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. Second and 11. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. He'll drop to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. They give him a gain of 38. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of. Trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he hits a big one right there. On first down, it's Wagner. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. 
They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll keep it on the ground. Wagner, and tackled down after a gain of three, leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the night. And once again, the 49ers are back out in front. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see him scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. They practice this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect he's back to throw and he's got his favorite target yet again it's complete and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 12 more yards for him there it's a first down Carolina they'll look to throw and this one complete again to Mims the Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. At the Niners' 34-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now Watson. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Oh, no, he lost the football. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Watson now to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Wow. I know it's a never say never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late. But now you've got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he's only going to get this to the...
Four-yard line. Ten, ten. At their own four-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. Under pressure and down he goes. In the safety and that disastrous play partner is ultimately going to seal their fate in this one isn't it it certainly is because they give up the two points but that's not really what did it it's having to give up the football and because they gave up the football guess what the other team now can take the ball and close this game out after the safety remember they also need to give up the football and here's the free kick and a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20 yard line here we go Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Second and 11. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Tackle now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout the play. as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. They go down to a knee, and with that, they're off to the NFC title game. Tonight's final score. And looking at it from the perspective of the losing side here in this divisional round, it, it all ends.